Today we're diving into the world of social media content creation using Jasper.ai. Hey, it's Arit here with Esatino Media. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through using Jasper's social media templates to help you craft compelling and engaging social media posts. So let's get right into it. After you've logged in to the Jasper platform, you'll likely land in your dashboard. And the first thing I want you to do is go to the button at the top left, hit create content, and then click on new from template. So when you click on that, you'll see a whole bunch of different templates here. You might've already kind of glanced at it, but not really sure how to use it. There's templates in here for all kinds of different social media content that you want to create. They cover a wide range of industries and styles. And the whole idea here is to make things go faster. So they've created these templates for you to just punch in a line or two, and then it will spit out nice captions for your content. So I'm going to show you the ones that I use most often, but if you want, you can take a little bit more time to play with some of these. So how do you know which template to choose? Well, it depends on your goal. What do you want to do? Do you want to put a post up on Instagram? Do you want to create engagement on social media? You can see here, I've, I often use these two templates at the top here. I've starred them to add them to my favorites and that's what adds them to the top because we often ask poll questions in our Facebook groups or in our YouTube community. You know, let's say you just want to throw up a post on Instagram. So you can come in here into the search box and type in Instagram and it will show you all of the Instagram templates that they have. They also have LinkedIn and Facebook. I just want to write a, a caption for an image that I have in mind and I want to create a photo out of it. You can see here, I've already kind of typed into the box here, but what you'll see is this. What is your post about? And then in here, you want to take a look at the image and just write a line or two. So you can say, I had a photo uh, from San Francisco. I just came back from there for a conference. So I'm going to put, went to San Francisco, oh, Francisco for a conference. Uh, and it was about personal branding. So to learn about personal branding. You don't need too much here to start off with because you just want to see what the AI produces and then you can customize it from there. So the next thing they want is tone of voice. So I often put just give me something personable, friendly, but still professional. You can put witty here. You can tell it to put um, in the voice of Tony Robbins or somebody that you look up to. You can tell it to make it fun and engaging. You can try different tones of voices in here. This is all going to be in English. So all I need to do is just hit the button here that says generate content. Now, while that's working to spit out outputs, uh, you'll see here next to the button that it has the number three. And that just means I want you to output three different options, but you can increase or decrease the number of outputs there, depending on, you know, how much you want to see right off the bat. I usually like to leave it at three. Okay. And you can see here, it's got a couple captions for us. So you can read through these and see which one do you gravitate towards most. Just came back from San Francisco where I learned all the best tips for personal branding, biggest takeaways. See, it even added some takeaways for me. Kind of like this one. Uh, just wrapped up an amazing conference in San Francisco on personal branding. I'm so excited to put what I learned into action and the create the best version of myself. So I probably wouldn't add that piece in, but you get the idea. You can kind of use this as a starting off point for a caption for your image to post on Instagram. Uh, you could even use their hashtags as well. Uh, you can copy this and paste it right in if you like it as is. Let me show you what to do in case you want to work a little bit on it. So let's say I like this one out of the three. And if you don't like any of them, by the way, um, you can ask it to give you more outputs or slightly change the sentence and it will give you different results. So let's say I like this one, but I want to modify it a little bit. You can open it in documents and this is where you can kind of work the caption to get it to where you want it to be. So I might hit enter here and say, you can see it says press the, the forward slash to tell Jasper what to write. So I just press the forward slash and then now I can type in a command and it's going to be related to that caption. So I'll say remove, create the best version of myself 
and say something instead about uh, sharing what I learned with the with my community. Uh, and then I might say add two more hashtags because I want it to give me a little bit more for Instagram. And then I'll hit enter and you'll see it modified it for me. So I'm, it says now I'm energized to share the valuable insights I've gained with our vibrant community and it gave me more hashtags. And then now I might just copy this and paste it right into my Instagram post. Now it doesn't have to be Instagram. You can use these templates. I'm just gonna go back here. Let's go back. You can use these templates for blog posts, for YouTube video scripts and outlines. Like you'll see here, I'll type in YouTube. You can use it for descriptions. Maybe you have some notes somewhere from another article or your own notes and you want Jasper to summarize it in a nice way so that you could go and use that and post it as a social media post. So I'm gonna type in summary. You could see here they have content summarizer. When you click on that, you can paste your content in here and same thing, ask it to generate three outputs. You can do personal LinkedIn posts. So it's a good idea to come in here and just play around with these templates. And you really can create compelling and engaging social media posts in half the time that you normally use to do this. If you don't already have a Jasper account, I'll include a link in the description below so you can check it out. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. We'd appreciate it so it lets other people know this is good content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.